Hi, welcome back to the Global Entrepreneurship Initiatives, the Forum here at the United Nations in New York City. And we are really excited to bring our next presenter to the stage because he is an individual who was born in India and migrated to Canada back in 1990. He married his wife, Deep, more than 28 years ago, and they have two children together, Henna and Armand. He's the managing director with Desjardins and runs the largest sales force in the country with his company. He's mentored more than 500 advisors and won many awards for his work. He is one of the main philanthropists in the community and also a best-selling author of two books, which he co-authored with Brian Tracy and Sir Richard Branson. Please welcome to the forum stage, Herminder Johan. So I'm honored to be here uh, with the like-minded group of people who wants to make a difference in life of others. So I wanted to start with uh, from where I came. So I was born in India when I was growing up. I remember the uh, one day in summer when there was a temperature 46 degrees. And I had a rubber sandals on my feet, which was almost melting with the heat. So I had bruised feet and uh, blisters on my feet. My father was a teacher, and he was only making enough money to take care of family needs. We didn't have enough money to buy fancy stuff, buy luxury items. And my dad was the most edu educated person in that village. So that time I saw, if I just focus on the education like my dad, I won't be a different person. I wanted to be able to get those things I wanted in life. So that's why I lost uh, interest in education. I was almost dropped out of school. So in 1990, I came to Canada and uh, got married, and, but I couldn't speak English. So that was another problem. So that's when I realized the education is very important because I couldn't speak the language. I couldn't do anything. When I go out to find the job, I will never get a job. So I remember uh, I was uh, sitting at my friend's house and we were having dinner. So I told him I'm having problem. I cannot speak the language. So he told me when he came to Canada, he started to watch TV programs. So I started to uh, uh, watch uh, Sesame Street and uh, Jung and the Wrestlers and Days of Our Lives. <laughs> so I will watch that program every single day. So slowly, I will start picking up. And uh, today, I've written books in English, mentored over 500 people personally, and uh, best-selling author, uh, manage a large, uh, uh, largest team in the country for the company, uh, Desjardins. So I'm one of the managing directors, own 10 offices. And also, I'm uh, involved in the community every day. Because when I was growing up in my childhood, I will see my dad making barely enough money to take care of us. But every single time somebody's coming to my door, my dad was always helping. He was there, whatever he could do for other people. So that eventually became my DNA. So when I started to make money, so uh, one of my friends, bought policy from me, life insurance policy, when I was an advisor. Almost two years later, a little over two years later, his wife committed suicide. So when I was there to deliver the death claim check, so that's when I saw what is my role, what is the importance of my role in their family's life. I was the only person standing there with the check. It was not a small check, it was $425,000. So I was able to take care of the problems. So the light bulb came on. So money was not anything anymore to me. So it was how I can service more people and make a difference in other people's lives. So then the team concept idea came to my brain. So I thought if I wanted to make a difference, I only have eight hours in a day. So if I want to take it to the next level, I need other people helping me. So then I started to build team and coach other people. To coach other people, I needed these skills. So I had to hire a coach. So I followed Brian Tracy very closely. 
uh, follow Tony Robbins very closely, and uh, uh, purchased a course from Brian Tracy, uh, success program. Uh, read many books and uh, tapes and videos. Like uh, one of the books I love is uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So those things totally transformed my life. And uh, now I have a huge team. So whatever I wanted to do, now we deliver many, many checks every month to those people. It wasn't the income anymore for me. It was the difference what we give back into the community when something happens. So that was a huge, so which money cannot replace. So five years ago, I uh, became involved with the Rotary Club. Uh, so where I see I could make a difference because that's where I learned service above self. So that's what I was looking for. That, that was my hunger from my childhood. So I became involved and do many projects uh, uh, through Rotary Club. So first one we do is we do blanket drive, blanket and jacket drive, jacket drive for uh, homeless people. And we deliver those to the different shelters every year. And then we do a food drive for Surrey Food Bank. In four or five hours, we collect 11 to 12 ton food and uh, approximately $10,000 donations in one day. And also, uh, for last three years, we are running uh, a free oral cancer screening camps. So we screen over 500 people in one day. So when we screen them, they jump the queue to go to hospital for treatment. So out of 500 people, 38 people needed uh, attention right away. Eight of them needed a surgery right away. So it was a huge problem in my community especially because a lot of people chew tobacco and do other things. So it was a big alarming uh, for us. So that's why we wanted to get back to the community. So we continue for, uh, this is our third year we are doing it. And also, whoever I am today, it's because of other people. I also wanted to thank my company, Desjardins, and my team member. I have the best team in the world. So today I'm here because of those people and my family. And my father taught me one thing. He said, if you take care of others, others will take care of you. So give the world your best, then you will always get back the best. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. <laughs>